Objective today is to compare numbers based on meanings of the digits using the greater than, less than, or equal sign to record the comparison. Let's start by comparing two numbers. Can you say each of these numbers? What's this number? And what's this number? Did you say 3,025? 4,143. Here we have a place value board where we will go ahead and model each of these numbers. We'll model this first number, 3,025, right here, and we will model the second number, 4,143, right there. This way we'll be able to compare those two numbers. When we look at 3,025, first off, we have three thousands in there. So let's go ahead and draw three thousands. We also have two tens within that number. And we have five ones. So I have modeled that first number in my place value board. I will go ahead and model the other number. In this case, we have 4,143. How many thousands will we need? Right, we'll need four of them. We then have a one here, a four, and a three, which we will go ahead and model into our place value board. And there we go. As we see, we have 4,000, we have 100, we have the four tens, and we have the three ones, which is what 4,143 equals. What's the name of the unit with the greatest value within these numbers? Right, it's this place right here, which is the thousands place. So let's compare the thousands and the value of the thousands for each of these numbers. So we're comparing three thousands with four thousands. Which is larger? Four thousands is larger than three thousands. The four thousands is larger than the three thousands. Since the 4,000s is larger than the 3,000s, and the 1,000s are our largest unit, that means that 4,000 is 143 will be larger than 3,025. So in this case, we can put a less than sign there. Let's read the whole sentence. That's 3,025 is less than 4,143. So in this case, when that unit is the same, that is, those places are the same, then we can just compare those digits to be able to compare those numbers. Let's model and read each of these numbers. This number is 21,078. So we can go ahead and model it. This one's a five-digit number. So we have two ten thousands in there for this number. We have one thousand, seven tens, and eight ones. So that first number has been modeled. Twenty-one thousand, seventy-eight. Two ten thousands, one thousand, seven tens, eight ones. For the next number, we have 21,250. How many ten thousands is that? Right, two. In this case, you'll notice, what you'll notice is that the greatest unit within each of these numbers is two ten thousands. As we continue to model that number, we have one thousand, within 
the next digit there. And then we have two hundreds. And five tens. So since we both have two ten thousands here within each of those numbers, we have to go to the next place over. In the next place, we actually have a thousand within the first number and a thousand in the second number. So we actually have to go over another place. Within 21,078, there are zero hundreds here, and there are two hundreds within 21,250. Therefore, 21,250 is going to be a larger number. And then I can go ahead and put my sign there that indicates that 21,250 is that larger number. It is the number with the greater value. Let's read this entire number sentence again. 21,078 is less than 21,250. All right, your turn to try. Go ahead and compare these two numbers by using a place value board. Go ahead and model each number. Make sure that you understand how to read these numbers and then decide whether it is less than, greater than, or equal to. Pause that video while you're doing your work. Did you model that first number correctly? And then we're modeling that second number. There's two thousands in that number. There's five hundreds, one ten, and four ones. And there is that number fully modeled. Three thousands is bigger than two thousands, so already I know that 3,162 will be larger than 2,514. The three thousands is bigger than the two thousands. We had that first unit is the same place. So 3,162 is greater than 2,514. And again, this is a place value board. And you're using disks and units to be able to model those numbers. Here, I'm going to use a place value chart to compare these three numbers. I'm going to model these three numbers in my place value chart as numerals. In other words, I'm going to write their digits. Let's go ahead and place this first number into this place value chart. Two, three, seven, zero, eight. The next number is two, one, five, six, zero. And then the last number that I will place into the place value chart is two, three, eight, zero, one. So now those numbers are all in the place value chart here, so it's easier to compare them. Let's compare the values in this first case here, this is the 10,000s place, so we're comparing two 10,000s with two 10,000s with two 10,000s. Since they are the same, we can go to the next place. In the thousands place, we have this number, which is a three worth three thousands, a one worth one thousand, and a three worth three thousand. So in this case, the one is the unit that has the least value there, 1,000 versus 3,000. And then so 21,560 will be my smallest number. Now, what I need to know as I start writing my number sentence there to compare these numbers is which of those other two numbers is smaller than the other so that I can continue writing my number sentence. I move over to the next digit, 
and I'm comparing a 7 with an 8. So we have 2, 3, 7, 2, 3, 8. The 7 here, 7 hundreds, is smaller than 8 hundreds. Therefore, 23,708 will be smaller than the other number there, which is 23,801. And so I carefully write those on out. The other thing to do after you've finished using your place value chart to help model those numbers is to look it over again. 21,560. Is it less than 23,708? Yes. Two compared with the two, one compared with the three, one less than the three. Is 23,708 less than 23,801? Two ten thousands with two ten thousands, three thousands with three thousands, seven hundreds is less than eight hundreds. Yes, that does work. So there are different tools available for you to be able to compare numbers. Here, let's use a place value chart to compare these numbers. And it's your turn here. How many places are in each of these numbers? Right, there's five places within each of those numbers. So as you're creating your place value chart, go ahead and make sure that you have five places there. And we're going to be using numerals to be able to place these numbers into our place value chart. That way they'll be easier to compare. After you're done with that, go ahead and write a number sentence and fill it in for which number is less than the other number and is less than the other number. Pause that video while you're doing your work. Let's place that first number in there. That's 14708. Make sure you place your comma. The next number is 13257, also read as 13,257. And the last number, 14120. I use digits to place it into that place value chart. This way it makes it easy to compare them. This is the 10,000s place, where there's a 1 in each of those places. Since those are the same, we can go to the next place, the 1,000s place, and compare 4 with 3 with 4. 3 is the smallest, therefore that middle number is the smallest number. The next number to place, let's see what we're going to place here. We'll go to the next digit since the four thousands are the same. So we're comparing seven hundreds with one hundred, and one hundred is smaller. So fourteen thousand one hundred twenty is the next number, leaving us with one last number there. Let's read the whole sentence here. 13,257 is less than 14,120 is less than 14,708. And of course, you could check your work where we're looking at those different places within those numbers and thinking about what it is that those are worth. So we have different tools available for us to be able to help us compare numbers.